Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you two cards that I made that were totally inspired by Laura Basson. She used these frame dies to do these inlay cards and I thought, wow, Cat Scrappiness has the perfect with these embossed edge dies to do these kind of cards with. And so this is totally inspired by her, but um, I think these are fabulous. So I'm going to use the um, embossed heart dies and the embossed edge square dies but you know you've got the ovals and the circles and the rectangles as well so whatever you've got is going to work perfectly we're going to do two cards here and i'm going to start with the um, double edged embossed heart dies and i'm going to use just a regular a2 size card base and then i picked out some really bright pretty colors so basically all i'm going to do is each one of these dies is i'm going to go and run them through my die cutting machine and just one right after the other and then once that's done we are going to figure out where we're going to place this on the card base so I kind of figured because the biggest heart die is way bigger than the standard card base so I knew it's going to hang off which is perfect because then I can just trim it off the side and it's going to look absolutely fabulous so now what you want to do is just line up each one of the next smaller dies in the middle of the one that you've already cut out. And we're going to do that with every single one of these. And that is how you inlay each one of these into the other one. And it already looks adorable. I, I love this. This is so easy and so fun to do and a great, I mean, it's so colorful. And you can use pretty much any word dies that you have. If you don't have the uh, lawn fawn sayings dies and stamps that is fine you use whatever you've got anything will work so now we're just gonna glue them down to our panel and you don't want to put the panel on the card base until after you get these all put into place because you're going to want to trim off anything that's hanging over and since my base my card panel is slightly smaller than my card base that would be really hard to do if that was attached to the card so we're just going to, I'm using glue because I, it gives me just a second in case I don't get it exactly where I want it. I can kind of smush it around and make it fit. And I had picked up this pack of 110 pound cardstock at Joann's that was all of this rainbow colors. So that's what these all are. Really inexpensive because I had a coupon for them. Um, but they are, they do have a white core to them so I can't use them for the things that I like to use them for but this worked out perfectly and they're all these bright beautiful colors I had my little coupon so I got them for super cheap and I thought these would be perfect finally I found something to use these for because I can't use them for card bases um, because well two reasons why they're not the best in quality so they have a tendency to crack <laughs> when you score them and I hate that and then, like I said, they have a white core to them. So for this one, I'm using the Big Hugs. And again, this is the Lawn Fawn Sayings. And I have popped it up on some fun foam. Give me that little bit of dimension. And it's going to go straight across the center of my hearts. And then my little bird here, I'm also going to pop him up and have him kind of standing on the end of the Big Hugs. And that will complete that card. Super simple. You could do more to it if you wanted to. Use some some sparkle spritz on there or throw some gems on it but I think it's perfect just the way it is nice and simple to the point and very colorful so next I'm going to do one using just the um, embossed square dies and the reason why I wanted to do this is to show you that you don't have to have the hearts any any of the embossed edge dies that you have from the cat scrap shop are going to work perfectly it does not matter what shape it is and you can do the same exact type of a card and we're going to do it exactly the same way as we did the heart, so I won't make you sit through all of that. Then we are going to, this time I'm going to kind of place it a little off center on my card panel here. And I will once again inlay this. This one's a little more in line with what Laura Basson did on hers with the kind of off centered, layered up one. If you haven't seen any of her videos, she's funny. You should check her out. I would just Google her, not Google her, <laughs> silly. <laughs> Search for her on YouTube and you will find her videos all over. She is hilariously funny to listen to. And she has some great ideas, like obviously this one. 
And if you don't have these dies yet, um, I can tell you that Kat has this stuff on sale a lot. Like she puts these dies on sale quite often. As of this video, when I'm filming it, they're on sale right now, but I do not know if they will be by the time this goes live. So I don't want to give you uh, false information, but please do check back a lot because she does put these dies on sale a lot. And they are a great value even when they're not on sale. So I'm just going to same exact thing. I have these popped up on my fun foam. My little birdie is going to hang off on the other side this time. And that is it. Simple, fast, fun, bright cards. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I hope this gives you a couple more ideas to use your embossed edge dies with. And I will see you again next week for more fun projects from the Cat Scrappiness Shop. Have a great week. Bye-bye.